ओके द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस थ्योरम इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल लेफ्ट और राइट को सेट्स ऑफ एच एंड जी डिफाइंस अ पार्टीशन ऑफ जी सो हियर वन थिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वट डज इट मीन बाई पार्टीशन पार्टीशन ऑफ जी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ वी कंसिडर द सेट्स सपोज देर आर कलेक्शन ऑफ सेट्स ओके देन इफ कलेक्शन ऑफ सेट इज इन इफ इन द कलेक्शन ऑफ सेट्स if their union is equal to again that set then this is called the second condition is the first condition is on union and the second condition is on intersection uh, just like if i say just like a1 a2 and a3 up to so on these are th this is a collection okay collection of sets and if their union suppose uh yes as uh, if i say their union of all a i and i is equal to 1 to 1 uh, to you can say 1 to n if the, their union is equal to a and their intersection intersection of all these means a1 intersection a a2 and up to so on their intersection is empty so then this is called partition so here we are doing the partition of cosets we will take a collection of cosets we will prove that their union is equal to g and their intersection is empty so what does it mean by it means that it means that our statement what is the statement the collection of all left or right cosets of h and d define a partition of g means the collection of all cosets they are defining the partition of g so here we want to prove that all the left or right cosets of n g defines a partition of g means these left or right cosets will define the partition of g these left or right cosets will define the partition of g if and only if if these two conditions satisfy means union of those union of those uh, cosets must be equal to g the first condition is this and the second condition is this the intersection should be empty just like if we uh, start the proof of this theorem let g be a group and it be the subgroup of g also let a h where h belong to h be the collection of be the collection of left cosets of h in g then what we want to prove that then we want to prove that union of all these cosets a h where h belong to h union of all these cosets is equal to g and their intersections means if there are two cosets if we will take suppose okay uh intersection of a h intersection of b h should be should be empty okay actually we want to prove this result so what does it mean by this result this result shows that the collection of left or right cosets of h and g defines a partition of g if these two two result will be satisfy then we will conclude from here that this collection what collection a h here a h be the collection of left cosets this collection will define the partition of g okay because the definition of partition is their union should be equal to g 
union should be equal to G and intersection should be empty. Okay, so first of all, we will start from here. Let A is an element of G. Then if A is an element of G, then we can write A is equal to AE, which belong to AH. So this means that A is an element of AH. So A is an element of G, which is also contained in AH. This implies that by the property of set G is contained in AH. But since G is the group and H is the subgroup, okay, but in general, AH is contained in AH contained. If G is contained in AH, then it implies that G also contained in union of union of AH, where A belong to G. Okay. Therefore, also union of AH where A belong to G is contained in G. So from these two result, what we can say this implies that G is equal to union of A H where A is an element of G. So the first result has proved. Now we want to the second result. The second result is their intersection should be empty. Okay, the intersection should be empty in order to prove this result. Let on contrary we suppose that a h intersection b h is not empty, is not empty. Then it means that element exists over here. Let x is an element of a h intersection b h. So this implies that. This implies X is an element of A H and and X is also an element of B H. So X belong to H means that X is equal to A H 1 and X is equal to B H 2 where H 1 belong to H 1 and H 2 belong to H. Okay, H 1 and H 2 both elements all belong to H. So from here we can write a h1 is equal to b h2 and a can be written as b h2 and h1 inverse. Okay. Now let. Okay. Now let. Let y is an element that belong to a h. A h. This a h. This implies that y is equal to a h. Okay, a a h three. Okay, so this is equal. To, what is the value of a? It is b h two h one inverse and h three. So this can be written as y is equal to b h four. Let this is this let this is equal to h four. Where H4 belong to H, B H4 which belong to which belong to B H. This implies that Y belong to B H. Okay, so Y belong to H, Y belong to B H means that A H is contained in B H. Okay, similarly we can prove that B H is contained in A H. So what does it mean by these two result? Then it means that a h is equal to b h. Okay, so from here we also let that a h is different from a is different from b h. So this result is against this result. So our contradiction is wrong. What was our contradiction? Our contradictions. So what was our supposition? Our supposition was this is non-empty. Okay. This is non empty. So this is wrong. So what is true? The true is that AH intersection.